Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss some external features and general characteristics of Austic Thies. As you know that phylum Chordata contain a superclass which is known as Pisces, which include all the fishes. And in Pisces there are subclasses and classes. So today we are going to discuss class Austic Thies. If we look at the meaning of Austic Thies. Osteic means bone and ichthys means fish. So such bones which have bones in their body parts, in their body at some place, any place, a small place, a small bone is present. We call it, we call it uh, osteo osteichthys. So these fishes are also known as bony fishes. So today we are going to discuss some general characters and external features of osteichthys. So let's do that. First of all, I am going to discuss. As general characteristics. If we look at the general characteristics of Austic C, the first character is that their body is fusiform. What does fusiform mean? Fusiform means spindle shape. The body is narrower at anterior and posterior and while wider is at central part. Now this is a fish. This is a bony fish. This is the anterior end of the fish and this is the posterior end. Of the fish. If you look at the diagram, the anterior is the end is pointed and the posterior end is also pointed but the middle portion is wider. So this form is known as fusiform. This is the best body form to uh, travel to locomote in water and in air. As you can see that the this shape is also found in boats, ships and aeroplanes because uh, when they move with high speed during from water and in, in water and in, in air they can face least a friction from air and water so to minimize the friction their body is fusiform the second character is that their mouth is at terminal position usually contract these and cartilaginous species they have mouth on the ventral surface so their mouth is on the terminal position their skeleton is made up of bones at least some of bones that is why their skeleton is bony they contain dermal scale Dermal means skin, scales mean a small structures which are present on the surface just like our nails. Our nails are also just like scale, dermal scales. So these fishes also have scales on the body. They usually respire by gills. Gills are present underneath uh, their operculum which is present on the anterior surface. They intake oxygen from water by with help of gills. We will discuss their mechanism in the next coming lectures. They also contain operculum. Contract thieves and card, uh, cartilaginous fish do, usually do not contain operculum. But these fishes, if we look at the structure of the fish, just behind the mouth, there is a plate-like structure. Uh, just where should be neck is, the, the structure is known as operculum. It is a lid-like structure. We, you can open it and you can see the gills inside. This structure is known as operculum. This operculum is usually present in bony fishes. They also contain swim bladder in the uh, abdominal cavity, which we will discuss in the next lecture. It helps in the buoyancy to sink or float in the water. Uh, there are two chamber heart in these fishes, only two chamber. One is atrium and one is ventricle. We are also going to discuss uh, circulatory system in the upcoming lectures. They have brain with 10 pairs of cranial nerves. This is a important characteristics of this uh, class and they have separate sexes and it means that they have male and female separate. So these are some general characters. Now we are going to discuss some external features of class Austic Thies, which are bony fishes. As you know that, so first, first of all, we are going to discuss fins. Fins are appendages which project out from their body or trunk. As you know, this is our body. Our body starts from here, not from here. This is head. This body starts from here and stop ends at here. This is called main trunk. And the body parts which originate from this trunk are known as appendages. For example, our arm is coming out from our trunk. So that is our appendages. So with the help of which we can locomote, move and do some kind of stuff. Similarly, our legs are projecting outside from our trunk. These are appendages. So anything which is projecting outside the body is known as appendages. So the fins are appendages which originate or project out from the body, main body. So if we look at the diagram, 
there are four portions of the body the anterior portion contain mouth posterior portion contain tail this is the dorsal side and this is the ventral side so fins are categorized according to the position of the body there are some fins which are paired and there are some fins which are unpaired so if we look at the diagram there are dorsal fins dorsal fins are present on the dorsal side of the body which is on the back of the body here some dorsal fins are spiny which it's shaped like a spine and some fins are self-rayed like a ray these uh, fins usually have bones in it in the form of a network which form in like a web surface these fins are unpaired and helps to stabilize the fish in the water on the anterior surface just behind the mouth there are pectoral fins pectoral fins are present on both sides of the body so these are paired wings and uh, just beneath the pectoral fins, there are pelvic fins, which are also paired fins. There are two present on the uh, ventral surface of the body. These four, four fins, pectoral and pelvic, helps to steer the body in the water. Just like you driving a car and you navigate the car with the help of steering. You can move right or, or you can turn left or you can turn right. So this, uh, uh, these uh, fins helps the fish to turn around. Now we come across the body and go towards the back side. There, are some, there is a single fin on the back side, posterior side of the body, which is known as caudal fin, which is usually tail. It is also contains some bones in it and it's webbed. And uh, right where the anus is, there is a vent. Uh, and uh, just behind the vent, there is a fin, which is known as anal fin. So these are all the fins which, which perform different functions and helps the body to navigate in water and help to stabilize the body in water because you're, as you know their the fish is like is tapered from both hands so it's very hard to stay stable in water so these fins help the fish uh, to uh, to stabilize in the surface of the water if when fish dies it becomes upside down the ventral surface comes on the top and dorsal surface goes down so balances out so you can see the dead fish fish upside down so these are some fins which are we, we, we discussed today now let's uh, move towards the next uh, structure which, is, which are known as scales. Scales I just already mentioned you that just like they are nails. They are present on the surface of the bony fishes. Uh, these scales are originated from uh, dermis which is the skin and they have been classified into four major groups. So in, in, in which three groups are of uh, scales are present in bony fishes and one group of the fins is scale sorry scale is present in is found in cartilaginous fish which are known as chondrichthys so first of all we are going to discuss tenoid scales tenoid scales are just like the comb and these are like elongated and they have pointed ends on both sides when they are arranged on the skin they make a pattern like this one uh, these are found in teleost fishes which are usually bony fishes so different uh, groups of uh, teleost fishes, they do have different types of scales present on their surface. The second type of scale is cycloid scale. Cycloid scales are just like a plate. They have small surface circles in on the surface of the scales. Their pattern is just like this on the surface of the skin. Cycloid scales are also found in teleost yeah, any bony fishes. The third types of scales are known as genoid scale. Genoid scales are diamond shape. So this is a diamond shape of scale which also have some intrusion. These genoid scales also has uh, are found in teleos fishes which are bony fishes. Their pattern looks like this one. The fourth group of the scales is known as placoid scale but these placoid, placoid scales are not present in are not found in osteichthys or bony fishes. These are only found in chondrichthys which are cartilaginous fishes like sharks uh, the anterior portion of the scale is embedded in the dermis of the skin while the posterior pointed part projects out of the skin and when you uh, rub on the surface of a shark fish the one side will be very smooth and the other side if you rub on the opposite surface it will be like a sandpaper it is it will be very rough and pointy what is the function of scales? Scales provide external skeleton to the body surface and also helps to reduce the friction uh, in water because the, see, these scales are kept moist and wet 
by glands present in the dermis and these glands produce a mucus like secretion which spreads on the scales and in this way as when you touch a fish it is very slimy so this slime and mucus and the scales reduces the friction in the water and helps to move the fish in water very easily so in this way today uh, that's all for today uh, we are we have discussed today the general characters and some external characters of it next coming lecture will be on internal skeleton and different parts of the body I hope you have understood this topic and we'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.